right. So back on the devil's fence of uh, of recording these when I actually need to have them up immediately. So I have. Wait a minute. This is like old news. Oh God! What the hell? It's over here. So ba so basically. So basically, the British Society for Bullfighting recommends you just don't do it. I would advise against wealth, health, and happiness in any form. Gatekeep, gatekeep, gatekeep. I think I'm not using that word in the slangy fashion. So yeah, um, so, so, the, the things I've been told in the comments are, are like things that I actually know, yes. Uh, volume 97. I don't even get to read it. I want to read the precepts so I can be a good Hammerite brother. These chairs, they... They're too hard. Jeez, I didn't even get to read the brief history. And, okay, I guess the loot is, like, reasonable. Honor thy parents and caretakers and outline of family values and traditions. Ugh, family values. Uh, you know, <laughs> this phrase we all know, respect your elders. Not sure I necessarily... I mean, should you respect someone just because they're older than you? Like, look, if you're 20 and someone is 50, should you respect them? What if that same person is 50, but then you are 70? Should you respect them then? Should you not because they're younger, but they're the same person? Also, should I respect, like, Hitler because he's older than me? I mean, he's deader than me, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, you gotta have different criteria for respecting someone other than, like, I'm mean. I guess what it's trying to say is people with more experience than you on some topic, which, okay, that's maybe makes a bit more sense, but honestly, because someone, <laughs> because someone is older, doesn't automatically make them smarter or, or whatever metric you want to use. Maelstrom, heat, quake, storm, hmm. Is this, is this gonna be some puzzle? I don't even get to write those down. I mean, I guess I could. I could say, I could say, s quake, heat, quake, 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 quake. That was gonna be an id game where you don't chunk around the screen, quote. Not like you ever chunked around the screen in an id game. Lay down my boom, 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 that's my, that's my beat weight. It's not even an object, probably. It doesn't... It doesn't feel like an object. Wait, is this a different... Per oh, it is. Strange that you can just rope up to this bridge. I mean, they did they run out of budget for railing at an inconvenient time? So yes, I'll go... I'll go to the places you suggested I go. Inscriptions of yore and why they are mostly false by Professor H.R. Plimpton. <laughs> um, I... Plimpton, that's a funny name, but it's a real name, or something similar to it is a real name, I know. I, wait, what's all this? Is this, oh. Well, I guess there's a whole other side to the upstairs that we didn't even realize, and all this time we've been respecting it. What, 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 what? I didn't pay attention to the lockpicks and they swapped out from under me, and I didn't develop a lockpick immunity for the Sicilian when death was on the line. Yeah. Lord Jean, you asked us to report directly to you rather than to the captain, hence this letter. We done did caught and intercepted a low-life churl in the act while he was digging a tunnel to your estate. One of us kept an eye on him from the street so he was never able to finish his plan. Don't you worry, we took care of him and his tunnel. Yeah, keep an eye on him instead of just taking care of him immediately. We also done roughed up the servant who spilled your soup the other day. He sure learned his lesson. He called in sick earlier this week and we haven't seen him since. Unfortunately, we never did find that silverware that went missing. That's tough luck. If you have any other particular requests, let us know. Well, at least it's soft and it's soft on soft action. <laughs> oh yeah just my kind of favorite action to participate in when I do erotic videos. That was a lie, I don't do erotic videos. But I probably just should do one just to get laughed at. <laughs> oh, what? Zoom. What, it's just a bedroom, there's no dead body or anything. I mean, I guess the pillows are red, so if you're thinking that that represents blood, then I guess it represents blood. Oh, 
thought there'd be something spooky and evil behind these, but no, it's just unopenable. What are these even supposed to be anyway, come to think of it? They, they don't even have doors on them. They're literally just, just like big chunks of wood that look prestigious. Okay, so did I, so did I, uh, did I say something profound that made you reevaluate your outlook on the world earlier in the episode there when I, when I talked about the thing? Oh, good, good. That cut was not really fast enough, but I'm going to leave it in because I just referenced it being in there, so that, that way there's less editing and post, don't you see? It's brilliant. Brilliant. And this is probably the thing above. Oh. Yes. But wait, isn't that the balcony I've been on before? I probably didn't come here because I was like, oh no, I want to go in that door that isn't even one. Oh, okay. Yep. Except, except, where did I even go? Did I just go straight back into here? Why would I have done that? Well, I guess the zoom is to say that, uh, is to say that, whoa, in this bathroom there lieth a secret. In this bedroom there lieth a secret. One so foul, it can scarce be placed in the laundry cutter. Oh, and, uh,. I guess I missed this on this side. So, I don't know about you, but those look of an import to me, wouldn't you say so? Oh well. This is the controversial questioning of reality room. Questioning of reality, questioning whether something should be called reality. Oh wait, so... So he's guarding an actual, okay, what's my compass here? What is a compass anyway? Okay, he's probably the front guard. Oh, he's guarding the front door. So in actual fact, I guess I just never, never want to go there in the first place. Okay. Well, I kind of have to redo this whole mess. I guess I just, weird, I, I just never saved, but I always save constantly. So he doesn't use the bath. He, so he's got a private bathroom on the first floor, which I don't know if it's that or that's but then he says he doesn't use ours. Is that theirs? But he does go down there sometimes. And yeah, there was that locker. <laughs> Can't even open that door holder or that door holder. So if this is the kitchen, then the bathroom would be whatever I just came out of here. But wait a minute. I don't know. The bathroom is here. Wait, what? Unless I'm up there. Oh, I'm up there. So... Should I go back to that bathroom on this? No, he doesn't use this one, but he does use the servant's bathroom. Where is the servant's? Oh, this one. So you're saying he goes in here. So he, are you saying he put something evil and mysterious in this bathroom? Or he's looking out the window to find some evil and mysterious not as in? Oh, I don't know about this. It's all rather suspect. Nothing of value in the kitchen. It is a cheap and crazy kitchen. Also, this. What, what is up with this room? Why would you have a spooky room with nothing in it? There's probably a switch or something, honestly. But if I make this video a reasonable length and don't be stupid dumb, someone's probably going to hint me. And I don't think I have any key to the private to the private locker in the bathroom either. Wait a minute, saw that. Sounds like it's coming from down there, but is it coming from here? Because it just, it would make sense if it was coming from here. Alas. <laughs> Okie doke. Oh. It's probably the... Oh. You don't even need to switch lockpicks explicitly. Nice. Fellow guild members, here's the gist of what I was able to get Lord Dumont to agree to. He'll designate the previously discussed area of his basement for a gambling den for our guild to use between dusk and dawn. His personal guards will leave the members of the guild be as long as we limit our activities within this designated section of the basement. For each night that his property is used, we have to supply a list of those present, both from within the guild and outside, to his secretary, Isaac. He has the right to refuse entry to guests if he has valid reasons to do so, whatever that 
that means. As an additional condition, Lord Dumond added, as compensation for the use of my property, I will take half of all winnings that are generated by your gam... Uh, your guild's gambling activities. The rest is for the guild to invest as you see fit, although I would like to suggest that the profits are invested for the good of the guild, not that of individual members. Furthermore, I would like to make clear that I reserve the right to increase my share of the profit annually in proportion to a possible decline in my purchasing power if I deem so necessary. That's pretty harsh. If I, I don't quite know how that last condition will pan out, but I've agreed to it so that we have a deal for the time being. With the inspectors of the City Watch present in our district as of late, this deal also gives some of our members the opportunity to lay low for a while. You are all to observe these conditions so that we as a guild all benefit from this agreement. Geronimo! It's <laughs> just this total busted hole in the wall. But that thief, he walks through the door if it's open, but not if it's not open. He doesn't He doesn't phase through the wall if it's not open, I know. Crazy insanity. What is he even thinking? You should totally get those phasing through walls muscles going there, bucko brown. Oh. Of course, another basement key. Not a locker and a bathroom key. Disappointing, but... There you are. Sometimes life is full of disappointments. Warning! This door is to remain closed and locked at all times because of a high danger of collapse in the cave beyond. Well, we best not go into it. No lid. We'd best not go into it then. Wow, this basement is enormous. Wow, it's huge! Hey, now. It's rude to call a basement huge. No, no, it's proud of its hugeness. Don't you know? Don't you know? Okay, so I could go into the gambling den, I could go into the cave, and I guess I just don't have a map regardless, so... Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> every door ever it opens towards you uh, I smell spider webs or I see them rather different well well whose fault is that so you did it on purpose okay wait there's a hole in the wall I, I don't know why or how I ended up at this hole but I'd better leave it alone because <laughs> I didn't ask its permission. Oh. Okay, seriously. So I'm going to carry these all the way up, drop them somewhere, hopefully far enough away or quiet enough away or something. <sighs> but it's rubble. Jesus Christ, dude. You Why would you... <laughs> like, okay, I get you want to have rubble, but like, seriously, you're going to make me go all the way up to somewhere with a carpet, which could be halfway across the world? The world... Engine, please. There's not even any carpet there. Jeez, dude. Oh, there's one conveniently there. How nice. You know what? Screw that one. <laughs> who, who needs it? Oh, it's the pagan Z's. My favorite Z's of all time, Z's. Oh. I, even, I don't even want to bop them out because pagans are great. They're... And not in the sense of being older than me. Uh, I respect them because they're age is unknown and therefore by the by the weird logical law of like if something's unspecified then it's true they they are they are worthy of my respect got it good whoa i thought this mission was supposed to be quote relatively small are you a park <laughs> i mean it's cool that there's more to it but like you know the paths it's like which path do i take Knowing the folk and as his life unfolds, slowly enveloping the power he holds. Whoa, whoa. Go with the album. What the hell is this worm? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. So. Oh, right, right. So, yes, I guess it. Well, if you're standing in the park, I guess it could be more obvious. I don't know. I think that's a bit confusing. Going in memory of this district's founder, Cornelius Thaddeus Dillsborough, may the builder let his soul rest. The two, the two names most likely to be given to an old dude. 
Welcome to Spirestead. This park was created to commemorate the founding of the Spirestead district of the city. As the name suggests, the district is named after the large rock spire that can be seen in this park. The rock spire has served as a landmark around which this district has been built. Wait, you mean this? Or do you mean like an actual rock spire that's not like a model? Okay, fine. <laughs> From time immemorial, many different species of tailless amphibians could... Oh, I said species in a silly way. ...could be found in this area. On display here, one can examine an egg from one of these characteristic animals. Not a... Not a burrick or whatever. Or a frog. Not a frog. Um, around my area, there are lizards that were brought here by some place that... ...that had, like, a, a exotic animal emporium. So I guess you can't go to the spire. Boo. And then it closed down and just released them all and now they're an invasive species it's great i know because one of them somehow got into my house somehow like i don't know how you fit under the door when you're a lizard but but you know there we are well you know now that i'm out here i guess i could take a quick little sojourn to the room of a creep although i'm s three flash bombs is undoubtedly enough to burn one on these fools but Nevertheless, yes, I kind of had the right idea here, but this is apparently wood. I don't know, I guess some wood could be dark. Yeah, it looks like metal. At least, at least it's dark enough that you assume it's metal. Yeah, I think that's a, I don't know, kind of looks like a metal-y texture. Well, I don't know, if something's dark, you assume it's metal. <laughs> metal in this engine. Those never even open secrets. Well, what's up with this dude? Day one, Raven's Hour. Spotted the Eplides today. Not completely clear, but enough to recognize and identify its shape. Can't wait for tomorrow. Then Curalumium will be in the right position at the right time. Day two, Owl's Slumber. Bad weather today. Too bad. Had been looking forward to studying Curalumium. Are you mean to tell me this guy is just an astronomer? Day four, late night hour unknown. Spotted a comet this night. <laughs> I'd stayed up several hours in the hopes of spotting something interesting, and it was worth it. You only see something like this every once in a while. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep now. Day eight. Met the neighbor from across the canal today. I greeted her, but she turned her nose up at me and ignored me. She seemed angry about something. She must have been in a bad mood. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this guy's just an innocent astronomer. That's... That is a good punchline, especially since it took me long enough to get in here. That is a good frickin' punchline. I'll hand it to you there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I guess I'll just... <laughs> oh, what a good punchline. <laughs> oh, oh. So, can we actually get into that hall? I mean, probably not. No, I guess not. Oh. Beyond this gate lies the great rock spire around which the city's district of Spirestead has been built. Due to the rock's instability and the potential danger this poses to videos, the portion of the park that lies beyond this gate is closed. Mm. Fine. I guess I'll have to content myself with getting into that portion. Uh, uh. It's not, a, it's not a creepy act, getting into a portion of the park, at least. It might not be. Anyways, the cutesy pagansies. I don't know what I'm singing about them, but they exist. At least, at least they're sort of a bunch of digital bits in a game that construe to form digital pagansies. Can they be really said to exist? Oh, the philosophies of computer treads. Instead of treads on a tank, they're entire computers. Just 386 PCs. <laughs> Whoa. So, they're pagans and pirates, eh? Because, you know, that's a pirate chest, and, and so therefore... Wait, can I really... Wait. This is a way to get back? <laughs> I'll remember the likes of you. Okay. I was saying something fascinating. I was saying, I was saying the tread. Oh yeah, treads. Also sometimes known as tracks, I guess. If you're British, maybe or something. Dude, stop making noise. Okay. I'll even use one of my fairly limited amount or two of my fairly limited amount of water. Arrows. 
I mean, yes, it... Oh, he's even got a blackjack. A man after my own heart. And they've got Thief 3 voices. Possibly because there is no female pagan voice set for Thief 2. There's... I don't think there's, like, certain lines, but I don't think there's a full set. Because I don't think there's any alive female pagans in Thief 2. So there you are. Ah, oh, you. You little pet there ruining it for us thieves. Uh-oh. Uh. Do I really feel okay stealing the pagan's food? Not really, but I'm... I'm Yeah, you know what? No. You know what? No. They can have their food. But, wait. So... So if this... If there's another way over here... Which... Is there, is there like, another passage in that house? Or am I supposed to, like, stack rocks again? Or, or is this yet another thing that... I'm pretty sure this is rock, you guys, okay? Like, I don't think that's a controversial statement. I mean, I... There's probably some sanctioned way to do this, but I mean, I guess I could try stacking. No, it's specifically made so that you can't. Clever. This guy's smart. Oh, well, I've got this three rubble and I've got the crates in the basement where- I don't know, this feels like it's clearly not the right thing. But at least the ground is maybe... soft? Or something? <laughs> Edit out my pain. Yeah, I don't even think this is... <sighs> that would be enough if I could actually get on... Oh my god, you... <sighs> This is clearly... Dude, Dude, don't be a fuckface, come on! Dude! Fuck! Get what? Dude, what am I supposed to do here? Come on! Bloody slant. Dude, drop the stu- Dude, drop the fucking rock! Don't be a fuck! No! <laughs> really? Gotta, like, crate stack them, except they fall. Ay. Dude. Well, I don't see any. I mean, unless there's, like, a secret. Do dude, shut up and work, you fuckface! Sh dude, shut up and stop breaking, you fuckface! Come on! <gasps> Finally! Damn right, it's a secret. What, I can use that on something? <laughs> Pagan Hymns and Rituals, Chapter 13, The Soul. Leave as the soul its flesh, its hand remains. Beast contains the soul within for the soul to be remembered. But the soul beast cravers for absolution and exposition to the elements. Givers you it breaths of air, feeders it water to drink see, fire for it bees burnings with passion. Then bees returns you the soul to earth sea soil. Thus bees open the way unknown which previously seemed out of reach. <laughs> okay, I know what he's talking. I'll take that. I'll take that as as payment for my sacrilege or whatever the hell. I've caused myself pain and then I take more pain in payment for the pain. That's something you'd say in the weird old days. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I've taken your handsy, but I've left you everything else. Also, what is this nonsense up here? And is this guy aware he's got pagans in his basement? <laughs> Could be. So, the gambling den is ever present over that away, but, uh... Before that, I guess I could explore around. 
everywhere else. Because eventually we're going to get back to the normal basement, I would assume. Yeah. Awesome. But... Wow, there's lots of cool shit here. Realization. <laughs> yeah, this place is weirdly falling apart in the basement for some reason. I don't know. Rotten foundations are like a tree that whispers. It rots its roots until kissed. And then it goes, ha 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 ha. More. Except in a less creepy voice. Hey. Also, are these both going into the gambling den? See, that's why you got... That's... Oh, also, how much loot have I got? Oh, it's right. Okay. Lefty 32G. Bertram 105G. Probably broke by now. If he runs off, use Hendrick to track him down. Sutter 12G. Hendrick 120G. Bad luck with playing cards. Old man Striker 57G. Hasn't stopped by in a while. Pay him a visit soon. To discuss, increase Lord JD's share by a small percentage in exchange for the opportunity to bring in more guests and additional clientele. Also, what do you mean luck? Casinos aren't supposed to have luck. It's supposed to just be the client always loses, obviously. You're not running it right here. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. I mean, look, your head is blocking the torch. How smart can you get? Pretty smart. <laughs> okay. I will bop you, though. You are not a pagan, or at least you don't look like one, and racism is all about appearance. Therefore, you know. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa there, whoa, 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 ah, 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 no. Yeah. You just wait. Something is up. Lady. Where are your manners? Well, I guess you're the bouncer. By bouncer, I mean stabber. Oh, hey, I get that. Healing potion refilled. Right back again. Nice. So, presumably, you have to come down here. Well, there's some loot to the police station, granted, and certainly. Well, I guess this place is not as exciting as I thought. So, there is that secret up there. Now... There's that grate in the house, too. The grate that is maybe not so great. There's probably a secret in there, too. I don't know. And then there's this room, like, down that way, undisclosed. Is it a room, or is it just the outside portion? <laughs> no, it's probably not the outside portion, but undisc uh, uh, undisclosed. Okay, that's definitely the front door. So... Shit, I forgot that guy exists. How dare you! He How died. dare you! Wait, that's a servant, even. It's not even the guy. What? Where the hell did he come from? Okay, that guy saw... Us. Did he see some body on the floor? What is going on with that dude? I didn't lay a body out in broad daylight, did I? Why the hell would I have done such a thing? Why is everyone on Twitch alert on this? Also, wait, 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 wait. Did someone say the basement holds a key to these or something? Or did I just completely make that up out of the sheer desperate hope that I would be bailed out? Yes, probably. But there's like a helmeted guard walking here, so why is there a servant and what's... Like, what is your problem? Why are you just... And where's the other guy? Secretaries are... Okay, did this guy just, like, appear randomly? Oh, his glasses fall off! Oh, that's... That's funny. That is such a nice little touch. Uh, also, are they valuable? I prefer a sort of warm, firm touch myself. This dude. No gas arrow either. <laughs> Oh, whoa. No, they're just glasses. Uh, okay. So he's gonna go a bit over that way. Dude, I don't get it. Like, he must have seen something. But I'm not allowed to... 
What? Dude, like, dude, he must have seen something because he's way too twitchy. What the goddamn hell did he see? He must have seen the bodies on the floor in that other room, but, like, I put them in dark, didn't I? Because he turns completely his back to me and then goes, Your dog, mate, idiot! Oh, this is just a... This is just a bathroom. Okay, the undisclosed... You know, the secret locker must contain a switch to open this. That's my... That's my random-ass assumption. Or there's just a switch somewhere around here. Because... Oh, wait. He doesn't even go to the bathroom when... Oh, no, he does come here. Okay, yes, that's... That's gotta be it. But the locker... I don't think I have a key to it still. Hmm. But what's this secretary's room nonsense? Is it something... Is it something on the, uh... You know, second floor? Honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm remembering at this point. Okay, so did I actually explore all ways of the cash associativity here? I think I probably must have. Oh. <laughs> probably must have, but let's just check this. Okay, is this something new? Maybe not. Okay, so that's that. That's that. Dude. Guess those are just flavor. No. I don't need that. Ugh. Don't be wasteful and also noisy like the Pentium 4. Don't be a Pentium 4. Okay. So, that's just nothing. It's just nothing. And that guy is just a poor fool. Wait. Oh. No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, so this is not even the portion of the floor that has the elements. But it is the portion of the floor that... Probably has the hammer, I guess. Who's... What the hell is that guy seeing... Like, here, here. So I guess... This room must be the... One that is undisclosed or something? I'm gonna need a key... To that bathroom locker, I guess, unless it's just... Yeah, I, I don't... Know what's... Going on with... The way to the unknown, though, like, do is it that I have to get the peg in hand and then do the elements? Oh, wait. The way to the unknown, you're not alone. Because that would be cool, I guess. Safe key. A safe key? Do I even know of a safe beyond the one in town? <laughs> oh. Dear Isaac, firstly, we would like to thank you for your submission to our society's exhibition. Unfortunately, we feel that war and the rain in blood is not a good fit for the mood we aspire to embrace. In our earlier correspondence, where you mentioned your work was about the realities of war and politics, we surmised it would be something like a romantic caricature with a subtle message, like a couple holding hands between the pillars of a fallen kingdom. <laughs> Is, is that the reality of war and politics, bro? Instead, you submitted something that we, in all honesty, can only describe as crude, bloody, and explicit. Also, Rain and Blood is a Slayer album. I don't know about war. We regret to inform you that our Society for the Preservation of Joy in the Arts strives for innocence and purity and pursues the smile of the viewer without making them shudder or reel in horror. We are wholeheartedly committed to inhibiting the evil artist, he who seeks to taint the pure souls of the simple folk. We do not condone artists snickering and giggling behind their hands while innocent onlookers wince at the sight of their hateful works. With all due respect, we do not feel your work fits our way of thinking, and we hereby request that you stop submitting your work to our exhibitions. With best regards, K. Brockhurst, A. Finsdale, and Y. Pertwee, curators for the Museum of Modern Arts, but happy so that everyone can enjoy. <laughs> I sense some snark going on here. Also, you look like an object, maybe. Mm. The book that was never found by K. Tremus. Is that like the Tremus reference? <laughs> anyway, this is all very amusing. Oh, and there's almost the loot. There's the, the actual loot. Actual the loot, you might say. These cushions, I just keep wanting to pick them up because there could be something behind them. It's just like, oh, I must, I must, I must, oh. 
<laughs> I want to see this war in the rain and blood painting, though. Lol. Okay, so... The other portion... Then... I mean, like, a couple holding hands by the pillars of a fallen kingdom does sound like a lovely painting, to be sure, but it's not the realities of war and politics, though. Just... You know, just... <laughs> saying. Hang on, did I actually go into this room? Uh, to Jean du Monde, though thy words on paper appear venerable and sincere, they are in fact disingenuous and void. It is not merely by expressing the wish to support our order and to follow the true way of the Master Builder that thou canst convince us of thine trustful intentions. Thy soul is seen through thy demeanor, not merely by exufflicate words. Exufflicate. We hereby reject thine early request. If it be true, however, that in spite of that thou still wisheth to express to us what thine intentions truly are, thou canst display this through thine actions. For instance, rid thee of any relics in thy possession associated with the Hammerite order. Readest thou the new scripture of the master builder from beginning to end. Rid thee of the ways of stone and brick and embrace the new and true way of iron and steel. In other words, rebuild your entire mansion out of iron and steel. Harsh. If thou art able to demonstrate the above to us through thine actions, we are prepared to take thy request into reconsideration. The Builder's grace be upon thee, friends of the Mechanist Order. Oh, so I kind of did read this, but I missed the other one. Oh, also, that bookshelf that I thought looked like an object, I just straight up decided it wasn't an... Okay, like that looks... But, but no, it can't be an object, because it doesn't look lit weird. Strange, though. Well, maybe it's the way that opens regardless. Let's see now. So, what do we... <laughs> if, if that hadn't gone into my inventory, that would be the biggest, cruelest joke ever, but no. Okay. Uh, oh, air, water, fire, and then earth. Okay. I guess this must be water. Storm and Maelstrom. Oh, maybe that was water. This is air. That's air. Well, is a Maelstrom water, though? Oh, well. Oh, you can't get it wrong. No, okay. I do it. That's earth. That's heat. Oh, it... Oh. But, but the earth was redder than the heat. Oh. How confusing. Uh -huh. So this isn't even the room, so this is this is just a totally awesome secret. Totally awesome, bro. Oh builder, guide my hand in these times of strife. Bless me with the gift of fortitude and bestow upon me a balanced mind. Grant me prosperity as thou grantest benediction upon those whom thou deemest righteous, for they believe in thine holy works. Have I not been faithful, O builder? Have I not served thee with prayer and virtue? I know not whence my enemies came, but I trust I have done right in thy eyes. Yeah, it's a test, or it's like you don't get prosperity because you don't get to be rich because that would make life fun and you can't have that. Okay. <laughs> so that's that, so I still have to figure out, like, where's the locker key? I thought, so, uh, I mean, the Lord's quarters are going to be up here somewhere, I would assume. And he doesn't use this bathroom. And he has a private locker, so where's the freaking key to it? Like, I'm guessing there's going to be a switch behind it, and that's going to be the whole diggity deal. Oh. Thanks for yelling at me, you guys. We here? Except that's still not a key, but, uh... <laughs> what have we here? What? That's just loot. There's no... Keys, please! Safe. Willem's apartment. Secretary's room. Basement. Sewer. I mean, I don't have a map of the second friggin' floor, so... So that's kind of a problem when I'm trying to figure out which room is watch on the floor. Hey, what's all this? This busted fence post, what's all this? What? Well, why would you put that there? Is it just flavor like, hey, the dude repaired his fence? Oh. So this is the ladies' room, not the ladies' room, I guess, then. 
<sighs> but is the Lord's room really just this random one over here or wherever? Not that. So he doesn't use this. He has a private bathroom, but he doesn't use it. Or he has more than one, I guess. And that's the secretary's room. I don't know. That shelf looks movable. Am I crazy? I guess not. I mean, I guess I am crazy, and I guess it's not movable. Oh. Uh, Lord Jean, friend of the Order of the Hammerites. Regarding our earlier correspondence, I write thee concerning service and thy personal guard. Several inmates from Craig's Cleft doth we pick by hand for thee to consider for employment as guards. <laughs> wow. These bums, ruffians, and vagabonds are currently eligible for penalty relief for serving time within Craig's Cleft and displaying relatively good behavior therein. We art willing, after thou hast conducted the necessary conferences and arrangements, to have them work for thee on a probationary period. Thou art entitled to early dismissal of their services without notice, if their commitment doth not pertain to thy standards. Attached to this letter thou canst find a concise overview of the profiles of several of our inmates. We will be in touch shortly regarding thy preferences herein. Sincere regards, Brother Winbrent, Priest of the Hammerite Order. Wow, cheap. They just give you prisoners instead of proper Hammerites. I mean, no wonder this guy's trying to switch his allegiances. It's only practical. Okay, so maybe one of the readables hints me about the key to the locker. But I'm pretty sure it literally just said the locker exists and nothing really about opening it. Now, maybe I missed something in the basement? Oh, hey, you guys. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Behold the everlasting gloom of what we call the master's room. That wasn't on key. At least I'm able to tell you. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. I can't even... I don't think I have a gas bomb or mine or anything. Like, why would I have that? That's mechanist equipment. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh. Here we go. Not so secret anymore, is it? Here we go. Oh, it looks like the mechanists are smart or psychic, or they can just kind of tell. By it. I like this squeaky stuff on the boards. That's cute. They just kind of can tell from a guy's countenance, whatever that means. His posture, if you will. Oh, yeah, but except this now... This is what I'm looking for. Except how do I disable it now? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a hammer room, and you can kind of... I guess the mechanists have sent a sneak in here to sneak around, and he goes, Oh, there's a secret hammer room, and thus concluded. Okay, now... Do I remember... Anything about how... Or did I ever know anything about how... Oh. Wait, what? What did that do? Oh, I guess you have to turn off both of them to turn off both of them. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, well, I guess... I guess that's it. Awesome. Now, uh, oh, getting out... Well, I guess I could get back out the other, 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 other way. Yeah. Oh, and that guy what, just happened to not be walking in the place. <laughs> but is it not the case that I can open these? Are there not loots and stuffs in here? There's an intruder here. Why are you running instead of fighting? Shut the fuck up. Is it not the case that I can get any of these? I guess not. But wait, but wait. Wait your butt down. What is this room? Is this like a real room? Wait, there's a ladder. Hang on. What? How would I even figure... Okay. If, if the basement is there, and I'm kind of a bit south of it, and a bit... Then somewhere... 
here would there be like a ladder okay so here i am here the stairs are going wait okay yeah the stairs are going down that way so therefore if i just go here also that room is suspect but whatever so now i'm just going south so we're kind of sneaking our way south and then a little bit that way that would maybe that would be the library or maybe it would be more where that guard stand hmm. I mean this seems like a not totally insane wait oh, yeah, I've been here right it seems like a not totally insane room where where it would be I don't know well there's this oh <laughs> never mind but it would have to be on the first floor because clearly Less. Well, no, I guess it wouldn't. Wait. What? It wouldn't have to be on the first floor. It could be higher up and then go down. I don't know. I mean, it could be here. Right? That that could be exactly it. But then I've done this puzzle already. So what the hell's the deal with this? Oh. The Nerevarian by Mayak the Liar. That's from Elder Scrolls something something. Maybe even Oblivion? Mayak the Liar will help you on your quest. Ahaha, <laughs> that was a lie. It's your own fault shacking up with someone like me. Yeah, hey, I got these. I mean, there could be a secret book. I don't know. You pretend you didn't know I am a scorpion. Then again, maybe this is just a weird thing, but I mean, it, it's, it makes too much sense, doesn't it? Maybe you get to it from the other side and you go up and that pagansy house has something to do with it. Because, I mean, it is a bit funny. They have a house with nothing but food. I ignore not at all. Because pagans, they don't need no riches. Dude, your pet is loud. Chill him out. Oh, wait, there is loot. Okay, I guess it's not so odd after all. But, uh, yeah, like, this is not... This is not my life. I hate this. I don't. This mission's pretty great. Who could hate it? Yeah. But I want to know what that stupid room is! Damn it! Ugh, it's like right there! Oh, well, I missed this. So, like, okay. And I mean, that room looked hammery because it's got like a holy water hammery fountain thing. So, it's, it's not impossible that it could be connected up to this. I don't know. This video needs to go up, like, immediately, so I kind of don't really have time for this. So the other place, maybe it could be... Oh, yeah, it is. It totally is right there. Well, look, you guys, I don't know if there's a stupid little switch or whatever. Whatever, I have to finish this and put the video up. Wait, did I ever actually go up these stairs, like, for realsies? <sighs> oh, yeah, that's the park. Well, if that's the park, what's this other thing? And why would this guy have, like, a staircase built into the park anyway? a secret stair into the freaking park. Evil question mark? The secret stair. Alrighty, well... Whoa. Trort? No, it's the guy from the bar. What the... What? How? They decided to finally go on patrol, did they? Hey, you guys, you guys, hello? Say again? Mosley XB, what are you doing? Jesus. Well, I mean, okay. Well, now I can get this unnecessary stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, geez, you couldn't have done that any time before. I guess that's how you would sneak in here as a ghost. I guess you would wait for them to start walking. And you would contact the president through a payphone. Pretty good mission, intriguing, with lots of secrets still to find. I really liked that. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I missed two. Oh, well, video's gotta go up like this. I, I, it's gonna be late. Ow!